Hello, hello. In this week's video, I want to do a couple of things. I want to show you inside some beautiful art books that give us a peek inside some really famous, well-renowned artist sketchbooks. I love looking in artist sketchbooks. I think it can give us a real insight into their process, their creativity, their thought process. I also thought I would show you inside my current sketchbook. I've been really loving drawing with a pencil, so I just thought I'd show you what I've been up to in my sketchbook sketchbook and I also just wanted to tell you about a new class that I have just launched called the Still Life Lab. Let's talk a little bit about sketchbooks. For me sketchbooks have been life-changing, transformational, they have been a place where I have found myself as a artist, a person, a creative. You know, sketchbooks have been so foundational and important in my journey. So I used to work in an office, art was my hobby, and I really do credit my use of sketchbooks with my art career. Because for me, I came back to art making when I was about 30, and I was nervous, tentative, unsure, and I needed a place to find myself discover my style, develop my style, develop my skills. And a sketchbook is a kind of personal conversation, a corner for your own creativity to unfurl and flourish really. And so I'm really passionate about sketchbooks and I'm also really nosy and I love looking inside other people's sketchbooks. So I will take you with me as I share some of the books from my bookshelf that show you reproductions of other people's sketchbooks. And this is a recreation of the sketchbooks of the Scottish artist Barbara Ray. She did several adventures, travels to the Arctic over a number of years, and this book reproduces the sketchbooks she produced and made and worked in on her travels. So they're little sort of notes about what she's doing each day and visual notes and references and this book just really makes me want to get out my watercolour. I just love the sort of granulation and the splashes of watercolour. It really does make me think I must <laughs> do more watercolour in my sketchbook. How she's describing the landscape is just stunning. So we the Northwest Passage. She's picking out the shapes and the patterns. She's really distilling the landscape into lines and patterns and shapes beautifully. So this is a book by the Royal Academy of Arts. I love having a peep in other artists' sketchbooks. I find it so inspiring just how their kind of creativity unfurls and unfolds. The workings out, the creative thinking, the creative conversation with themselves. It's just a fascinating thing. Barbara Ray and her Arctic sketchbooks. And here I thought I'd just show you inside my latest sketchbook. It's a little square sketchbook from a brand called Stillman and Byrne. They're Zeta range. And I've been filming my new still life class recently and I've been just getting into and really enjoying drawing objects and still life arrangements just with a simple pencil. I've been just really loving the shapes and the patterns and playing around with different compositions and the ease of just using a pencil. So sometimes working from the object, sometimes working from a photograph just enjoying the kind of scribbles and the marks and the smudges and the smears of a dark pencil. So that's one of my current sketchbooks. I have a new online art class available called the Still Life Lab, where we'll be using still life arrangements to inspire a whole series of mixed media explorations and studies and experiments. And I've called this class the Still Life Lab for a reason. I think the idea of thinking about our art making as an art laboratory is a really helpful one. In a laboratory, they undertake experiments, trial and error, and the experiments lead to breakthroughs, discoveries, aha moments. And I think that spirit and philosophy is a really good one to apply to our art making. So in this class, there's over two hours of video, demonstration, art making, wisdom, advice. We'll be looking at other artists. We'll be really tuning into what we're drawn to, what our influences are, 
what we're inspired by. We'll be selecting objects, arranging objects, we'll be drawing our still life arrangements, we'll be using the drawings to inspire monochrome collages and then we'll be using our drawings to inspire some simple acrylic studies. And hopefully this class will really give you some inspiration, some ideas, some enthusiasm that you can apply to your own art making. My hope is that it's a fun, informative, encouraging, inspiring class that really allows you to create artwork that feels unique, interesting and exciting to you. So the next book I want to show you is a recreation of David Hockney's Yorkshire sketchbook. It recreates his sketchbooks where he's drawing, drawing and painting out in the East Yorkshire landscape. And he's using watercolour and ink and there's sort of panoramic scenes that often look like finished paintings. And I think his gestural marks, the energy that he brings to what he's observing is really stunning, beautiful and masterful. These kind of pencil scribbles where he's trying to describe the fields. Just lovely. There's an immediacy and a boldness and a I love these kind of gestural lines and marks and smears and smudges and drips. Just stunning. And the way he's composed the page is so beautiful. Energetic lines describing what looks like a hedgerow. So this book is called Je suis le carrier. Carrier? Carrier? I am the sketchbook and it documents Picasso's 175 sketchbooks so it just takes you inside his sort of creative process and shows his workings out and some of his thought processes and there are a couple of things that I just wanted to read out some quotes and things he said about sketchbooks so the first thing I wanted to share with you is a quote from his friend Françoise Gillot and she says often painters need to record a fleeting thought an observation a new organization of shapes and colors a sketchbook is a companion a mirror of dreams utterly sincere since it is utterly private and personal from doodles to scamped or elaborate notations it bears witness to the early processes of creation I love that. A sketchbook as a mirror of dreams. And here is a quote from Picasso himself saying, I picked up my sketchbooks daily saying to myself, what will I learn of myself that I don't know? What will I learn of myself that I don't know? And that's a lovely thought, isn't it? A sketchbook is a place to find out about yourself to discover yourself through creation, through drawing, through expression. 